We have a quick update on Gizmo and how we got on at the vets. He did amazing at getting in his carrier and we got in the car and we made our way there. When we got to the vet, the vet came in and they like to do their examinations without the family in the room so they can take him back into the space and make sure they have all the essential things that they need. I was glad about because Gizmo's quite dramatic and he's loud and he was crying and we could even hear him like three doors away. She came in for an update for us without Gizzy and we were a little bit worried and she said that she had him in the oxygen room because he was really stressed and gasping. He said that they had to fully extend his legs and really feel the tissue and the bone and really like double check his wings and everything. So he was under a lot of stress because obviously he doesn't know them and being in a new environment, that's a lot of hard work on him. She did show us one of his light feathers that he'd plucked out, but thankfully it wasn't bleeding and she didn't have to treat that because that can be really dangerous. But it's funny because I think he was like, I'm never using these again. He didn't want those flight feathers. But the good news is she doesn't think anything's broken. She does say that birds can mask their pain and she could definitely see he was in pain, but there was no obvious signs of a break. What we're doing is we're going to wait another four days to see how he gets on because they would have to sedate him to actually perform the uh, the x-ray. That can come with a lot of risks. She put him on a anti-inflammatory pain medication, which is a very common one for animals, Medicam. So he's on that for the next few days and we will monitor his behavior and progress and see how he gets on. The medication working? You can definitely see that the pain medication is helping him. His posture is a lot better. He was slumped like that before. So he's got better posture. His eyes look brighter. He's still not talking, but we are blessed. And every now and then he will say something. Last night we did get evil laughter. <laughs> evil laughter then turned into almost tears from us because we were like, oh my gosh, please. We don't know what's wrong with him still. He's still very quiet. He's not himself, but we think he's getting better. We'll keep you updated. We, we can't wait for him to chirp out totally. And you can't stop. Huh? Chirping out for real. Can you do one? Okay. And there's another thing. He's clicking a lot. Are you clicking um, at me? Because I'm saying your lines. Are you saying your lines? It's a crime. Is it a crime? That's a crime. <laughs> but he's still being very sweet and loving towards both of us. I feel it in my heart. He's going to get better and he's going to find his voice again. Quickly, I want to thank every single person that has sent us emails, messages, made videos for him. We appreciate you so much and we are overwhelmed at the outpouring of love for this cute great boy. We're reading your guys' comments and we apologize that mm. we haven't been active in, in responding, but we see you. We're hearing you, we value you completely, and we love you all so much. We'll do our best to get back to some of you guys because we know how worried you all have been. It, it means a lot to us really about how much support you've given us. Hunk is, what do you say about that? Be the best is great. Yes, you are. There we go. Good boy. That's kind of all he's doing at the minute. He's just doing that whistle. We just got to get him back to chirping out. We'll update you again soon. And once again, thank you every single yes, one of you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and we love you.